Oh, hello there. Did you want this food? Did, did you want this food? <laughs> Hello one and all, Mickey here, Surviving RNG, with... Who, who is that? Who is that next to their name? Who is that next next to their name, Vanguard? Who could that be? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> it's me. Hello, Mickey. Hello, guys. How are you doing? So, this is going to be a kind of... A, a, a very ill-conceived attempt at a sort of ver versus match for 7 Days to Die. It's going to still be using the City Slicker Challenge, where we're not being allowed to, allowed to leave the city when we enter, but unlike normally... We're going to have everything set up already. So we've got all of our food, which is shared between two um, chests over here. As you can see, these are all the items that we're going to be using. Ignore the rocket launcher. That'll be for the winner. And then we're just going to be charging into the city and surviving. There are rules, though, of course. One, of course, don't leave the city. The next rule is we have three spare lives each. The fourth life that gets used by either person ends the series and the other person wins. Each time somebody dies, they go back to their bedroll, which has to be left here, and then they pluck off one of the torches indicating they've died, chuck it up the edge, and they head back into the city without any items. They have to go look for the items that they lost, which is going to... Ooh, I, I think that's going to end in a lot of chain deaths, that is, but we'll see. Um, other than that, the other rules are friendly fire is on. Uh, Vanguard, would you would like to dem demonstrate? So we can't directly hurt each other, but explosives don't count as friendly fire. So explosive barrels, mines, rocket launchers, explosive crossbows. When we gain the mean to, means to hurt each other, by all means, we can use it. We absolutely can. But normal, normal damage doesn't work. So there's no point in charging after each other with, with bows, axes, stuff like that. It won't make any difference. But we're going to be a lot more sneaky with the damage we do. Because obviously rocket launchers and crossbows, explosive crossbows, they're, they're kind of way off in the future. But mines and explosive barrels, they're not. They are much a very real danger. So we have to be much sneaky about how we deal with each other. And one of the key things we're going to be doing is trying to sabotage each other. Getting zombies to attack each other. If we set up a base, find out where the other person is, try to sabotage their base. And try to kill each other like that. Of course, assuming we survive the city and... As is, which we won't be prepared when we jump down. We'll just have our, our raw resources there. The last rule is, very important, we cannot simply steal each other's loot. So if we lay down a chest, it has to be a chest, we can only leave our resources in chests we make. We have to let the chest be unlocked. We have to lay down the chest and then walk over to it, hold down E, and it will actually say, Oh, that one I didn't actually make myself. Well, it'll give us the option to lock it, basically. It'll give us the option to lock it or unlock it. We have to make sure it is unlocked, because if it's unlocked, then we know that chest belongs to the other person. Any chest we find out in the world, in a city, will be locked, at which point we know we can steal from it. So if we forget to lock it, then it is up for grabs. It's our own fault. Well, yeah, that, that's it, really. Um, if we find any um, workbenches, uh, chem stations, stuff like that, we can take them from their original locations and put them to our base, but the other person can't steal it, but they can. And use it. Same goes for fireplaces, forges, everything like that. We can use each other's equipment as long as it isn't stealing. Of course, if the other person's there, then we can't exactly use it because they're, they're going to stop us. They're going to use it themselves. And really, that's about it. So I'm going to let um, Vanguard do his intro. Of course, his is going to be in Portuguese. So I'm going to do a little cut here and we'll be right back in a minute or two. So get ready, guys. It's going down. Should we begin? Let's grab our items. Yeah. And remember, no building items or sorting out your inventory yet. That has to be done at ground level. And of course, no rocket launcher. That is for the winner. So we have about 15 seconds. It's nearly time, buddy. <laughs> Come on down here. I'm afraid. I'm I know, afraid. me too, man, me too. Okay. Okay, now time to sort our inventory, and this is so important, because if I don't have water here, I am going to die, and I didn't have the mic on. Yeah, if I don't have water in my inventory, I'm, I'm going to die so bad. BK, mic on. I know, sorry, I, meant, I, was, I was meant to, I was talking to you about not having water in my inventory, because otherwise I'm going to die. I'm really scared, man, I'm really scared. <laughs> okay, I got it now. So we need wood frames. Man, it's, it's really weird talking to both Vanguard, oh, talking both Vanguard externally as well as you guys. So wood frame, let's make 100 for now, very important. Before we do anything else, I think it's more important than like a, um, than an ax or anything like that. Then let's make an ax. Oh God, I don't have enough wood. Ooh, ooh, okay, 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 that's fine. Stone ax, bow, not that it's gonna count for much. Club, God, that's gonna be pointless. Why am I even bothering to do that? And then wood frame, again. Favorite that, and make me, how many can you make? Oh, that's not a lot, make another 50. Oh, I am, I am very, very afraid right now. But I think we are good to go. 
I don't know where Vanguard's gone. No, that's not him. Need to make arrows as well. Of course it needs wood. Make like 20 of them. Okay, so away we go. Yeah, so... Um, looking to survive. <laughs> I don't know how well we're going to do. Um, oh god, I'm... This is just well out of my comfort zone. So badly out of my comfort zone. But honestly, this isn't a bad place to set up as a safe spot. And food and water is really a priority. Oh man, really, really weird. Not having Vanguard watch my back. But yeah, food and water is a priority. There should be a ladder here. If not, it's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, that's fine. I can mark this as safe. There's no ladder up here. I can use wooden blocks and stuff to get up there. So, let's do that. Mark that as safe. We know that's safe for now. In fact, let's let's double check. Let's get up here. Okay, so there are no ladders up here, right? Oh, this is a really weird subway. Or sub shamway. No, I think we're good. Okay. So this is safe as long as we use wooden frames to get up here. And because of wood, man, we use so much. Oh, I, I, I keep saying we. I keep saying we. Like he's with me on this. He's not. He's looking to kill me. Let's, let's you know, chop up some stuff. God, this. I, oh, man. Go into the city without armor, without um, our gear upgraded. We've got a, uh, I've got a level one club, a level one bow. Who are you? You're no one. How about we make some cloth stuff as well? Let's do that. Gloves, hoodie, pants, and shoes. That'll be a tiny, tiny amount of protection. Spider zombie? Hey, not that big a deal. Not during the daytime. So yeah, of course this will be um, out 15, because out 16 is just a mess. So we're going to be going by those rules and also be using the mod. As you can see in the bottom left, it shows us our stats all the time. How much are you noticing? Not a lot. You're fine. And also, yeah, custom buildings, as you can see over there, over the, to the right of the tree. We've got custom buildings here. We've reduced the size of the city very, very slightly. Oh, dog! Of course. Of course, dog. Of course, dog. Of course, dog. Of course, dog. Got to keep an eye on that stamina. But that's fine. Let's just run away. No more dogs, please. No more runners. <laughs> I have not gone far, have I? Dog? I think we're good. Man, my heart is pounding. Let's equip all this crap and pants. So yeah, that is the setup that we made. We made that a couple of weeks ago before I had to take a mini break from the channel. I like that. Hopefully from uh, um, from the buildings, at least halfway into the city, we'll be able to see it and be able to see the lights and how many lives we've got left. It's really cool. But yeah, the winner gets to blow the, the loser up with a rocket launcher. Broken already, eh? Got on that. Grab that and keep chopping. I need a lot more wooden frames than this. And honestly, we need to break into that shamway, I think. We're, we're competing for resources here in the city against Vanguard. And food is a priority. Food is absolutely the priority. Because unlike in a normal city slicker run where you have three days to get here and you collect as much food as you can, like yucca plants, of which we only have like 25 each, here we don't have that option. Here we need to grab whatever we can in the city and there's a limited amount. It doesn't respawn. So we need to grab as much as we can. Oh, cloth. Wow. That's one thing I didn't give, us, uh, give it to uh, each other. When we were going through the, the items of what we needed, didn't include cloth. Well, we've got cloth now. So I am going to grab all of these chairs. Water, yes, please. And scrap all the chairs. And give myself all this cloth. As for things like farming, like smashing that up for, for soil, that is a pipe dream. That is, that is so way off in the future. In fact, give me, give me leather as well. And, oh, forgot to, didn't loot these. Nothing and nothing. And this, nothing and an empty bottle of water. Oh, that's a bit of food. And that is like a gun part, isn't it? You know what, just screw it. Get rid of that thing. I, I don't have the inventory space to carry that around with me. A bottle of water and empty bottle of water. Very good start. Empty and empty. Grab some more chairs and some more cloth. Empty and water. And that is empty and empty. And these, water, yeah. Water is going to be so important because to boil water, you do need to kind of set up a even a temporary base because you need to set up a fire pit. Although fire pits aren't that that precious, you can just leave them lying around. And that oh oh no no no, this doesn't lead up, is it? Does it? Oh no, just second floor. That's fine. That's cool. Close that. These are for scrapping. Thank you very much. And also to scrap all this iron. We're not making a forge anytime soon. I should really make myself uh, an exit point. Can I break through here? Yes, I can. 
So there is a way out. Actually, yeah, there's the little gondola thingy there. That's fine. We can drop down there if anybody gets in here. Actually, I don't want to take that. And are these better than what we've got now? 15, 12, 7, 7. So that's crap. This is 2, 2. That's 7, 7. That's crap. The shoes aren't better and we can't dismantle them. And that's 2, 2. I don't know how hot it's going to be in the city. It varies from map to map. And that's actually better than what we've got. But it's a terrible condition. Just get rid of it. No, don't do that. No, stop it, game. Oh, scrap that. Take that. And search these. Empty bottle of water and a can. Things like potassium nitrate there. Really not priority. Oh, cooking pot. Yes, please. Thank you. Vanguard, you won't be getting that. That's mine. And that's about it. Another bottle of water, I think. Scrap this stuff. Oh, right. We're... We'll give it a second. Can we get through here? Oh, yes, please. Carbon filter. We can get rid of that. Oh, not yet, of course. And I realise this building isn't as safe as I thought. Because the zombies can get up here and this roof is low enough down that the zombies can hit it. So this, this base is safe enough to, you know, stay on one night. Maybe. Unless a feral finds his way up here, in which case he'll just bust through the roof in a few seconds. But it'll do for now. And then we can start scrapping stuff. Nitrate, we'll leave that for now. Mechanical parts, electrical parts, I don't know if we need them. And also let's equip that arrow. Scrap that, make another stone axe. We've got a bit more wood now. Oh, we've got a lot more wood. Use up all those arrows, all those feathers into arrows. Scrap that. And yeah, we might as well use up this. Just get it out of our inventory. And that. And then scrap that. Yeah, not bad at all. And we've got, yeah, cooking pot, coffee beans, uh, duct tape, I guess. That's useful for a few random items. But yeah, not, not bad at all. Let's go out the way we came in. So maybe Vanguard can waste his time trying to loot this place. Hopefully he doesn't notice this. And let's try find another, another shop like this. Let's try keep on the outside edge. Because those shops have flat roofs and they don't tend to have a staircase leading to them. Uh, your shotgun part to scrap it. And that hat is not better than what I've got, I think. No, it's not. Can we scrap it? No, we can't. We could chop down a tree while we're here. Yeah, let's go for it. God, that scared the crap out of me. Ah! Oh! Oh, hello there! Did you want this food? Did, did you want this food? <laughs> no, you take it, you take it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you scared the goddamn hell out of me. <laughs> Mickey, you just didn't see what happened to me. I was trapped by a cop and two dogs and I managed to cut. Really? You cut out, buddy. Bye. You're just epic, Mickey. You should see it. Bye. <laughs> God, that scared the crap out of me. I was wondering, thinking, oh no, a zombie attacked that deer. Nope. And going for meat this early, buddy. Not a good idea. Oh, you should not be going for meat this early. He should be raiding places like that for food that doesn't smell. Rookie mistake. Oh man, although then again he'll get animal fat. But actually speaking of which, do you need animal fat if you're not going to be building a base? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. Animal fats are more like lighting up um, big buildings so you can e see easier at night. But when you're on your own and you're not really building massive bases, well you need, you know, the one torch that we start with. You know what, let's, let's go hunt him down. Let's go hunt him down. He went this direction. And we need to keep our, our eyes peeled for another another flat roof building. A dog and two cops, he says. That wasp sees us. Let's get going. Mickey. This... Hello. Did by any accident you put your stuff on a box in the corner of the I've, map? I've, I haven't put anything anywhere yet. Okay, so it was just me. Never mind. Oh, what? Did you make a chest or did the game just randomly put a chest on the floor? I made a chest, don't worry. It was just because I, I think I'm, I was seeing it wrong, yeah, and I was, don't worry. Never mind. <laughs> okay, no worries, man. <laughs> I'll see you at the finish line. See you. So yeah, the rule of making a mini bike actually still still applies. I've got to mention that um, during the beginning. If one of us managed to make a mini bike, the other one loses. Yeah, but we're going. Yeah, I think, I think this is safe. I d mm. Is it worth checking? I suppose it is. That cop is on the far side. Yeah, I think we should be safe. Just run up the building. You know what? No. No, 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 no. No. This, this just, this is too risky. Too many zombies here. Running horse can appear during the daytime. Remember, this is... Uh, you're not running after me. No, no, you'd run faster. This is um, Alpha 16 after all, or 15. So hordes will run faster. And yeah, Vanguard went this direction. Because that's where the zombies are. I guess he ran that way. There he is! <laughs> I see you! I see you, my friend. Where are you going, buddy? What are you up to? Left or right? Just looting on the spot. Does he have a chest over there, maybe? 
that's not right. We can, we can steal from it. Let's go. We still need to look for more buildings. Ooh, popping pills. He came in here. I think he came in here. Yeah, I think he came in here and zombies tried to bust out. But that is a good idea, my friend. Yeah, I don't want to do this. Yeah, that's looted, isn't it? Yep, empty. He looted that, yeah. Good idea. That's a good idea, getting items that can cure infection. And... Uh, oh, is that a ladder? That is a ladder, but don't go up there, though. Because they can bust out through the side of the roof. That's a terrible idea. But yeah, um, I was thinking about following him, but then I'd have to push my way through the horde to get to him. Which is a terrible idea. So let's not do that. Let's just look out for more flat buildings. Is that a flat building? That looks like a signpost on the side, right? Slappy feet. Let's just take it easy. You're over there, you're fine. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a building we can go into. We can check to see if that's safe. Let's avoid this guy. Maybe we can lose him around the building. Oh, and you. And you. Ooh, hello. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Runners? Nope. So this is the back of the building, right? So there's a ladder here, okay. So... Oh, I don't like that there. Grab whatever this is. This is not safe, and I'm not going to have the chance to break down the ladder. Nope, nope, not safe. Let's go. Let's go. We still have a fair amount of time. Not a huge amount of time in the day. But we do need to make more buildings secure. And secure is a relative term, because if Vanguard finds them, he will recognise if a rung of the ladder is broken out, he can just place a block down like this, and all of a sudden that building's not safe anymore. Okay, stamina's half, half gone. Let's go easy on it. Oh, yeah, you're not dead. Lamb. Oh! I see you, my friend! Oh, do you? I don't see you. I know you don't. <laughs> and so do the zombies. So this building may be safe. It's tricky to get up to, though, because the roof sticks out. But I guess... You're not following me, are you? You kind of are. Yeah, it sticks out one. So here, I suppose, it's just like there. Although getting up here is so tricky. Because if they knock out a, a bottom block, then I fall to my death. But let's at least check this. This roof is secure and there's no way, no other way up here. I think it is, to be honest. Yeah, this roof is secure. Is this another building we can go to? Those, no, that one isn't. That one's got a ladder on the inside of the building, but that one should be safe. Yeah, this roof's secure, so that's good for nighttime. Let's get back down before they knock out my only way down. Oh, no, that's fine. Uh, zombie, you're not down here, are you? Uh, you know, quickly get down here. Get down here quickly. Quickly. Well, there we go. Yeah, I didn't want to knock out the him not to, to knock out that last ladder or last last rung. So I need to mark this as safe. Just give me a second, if I can. This building safe. Okay, another building marked as safe. I just want to find rooftops. I know zombies can't get up. Although then again, spider zombies can. Mm, golden rod tees. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Blueberries actually might be a good idea. Blueberries, we can eat and potatoes, so that's worth it. So let's grab these. I wouldn't imagine I'm going to be doing any farming. And a water source. That's water, so mark that as like water. There we go, so there is a water source there. I'm not sure if there's any point in grabbing these. I know goldenrod teas are good and everything, but that's more for the long term. I don't really see there's much point in doing it right now. Flat top building there. That's a bit too high, I don't want to risk that one. While we're here on the edge of the city, we can chop down this. Let's do that. And make another stone axe. So it's 30 degrees centigrade. So it is a little bit hotter. But then again, this is the burnt forest. So maybe instead of hoodie, a a cowboy hat. We'll see. Okay, a bit of wood. Let's make some more wooden frames. I can hear you, Mickey. You can hear me chopping, can you? Yes, I can. I'm just surveying my surroundings. Nothing to see here. <laughs> I'm going to bring a few, a few canine friends to help you. Oh, I won't be here. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll they'll help you with whatever issues you have. Unless I run straight into you. Oh, man, this is creepy. This is really creepy. Stone is uh, not that great. Although if Vanguard heard us, he's going to hear us smashing stone. So let's... Uh, that's a pig. That's fine. Let's just move on to another area of the city. Although, I can't trust these buildings. No, definitely can't trust these buildings. We don't have a lot of time. No, we, it's 7 o'clock. There you go. The second tier of crickets should kick up now. Oh, I didn't hear them. Let's find another safe place to hold up. And we'll have to sit tight there until it gets to night time. Man, staying in that building. That'd be a nightmare. This building should be safe, though. Hold on. Actually, that building's like the building that we went into, went into I think. No? Workshop, maybe? Workshop. Oh, no. Lockers. I don't care about that. 
I care about food and water. Not, uh, explo explosive barrel. Explosive barrel? You don't say. Thank you. You don't say. Well, now I have the means to kill him. So let's check this building. I think the roof is high enough and flat enough that it's safe. Zombie? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Any ladders? I think there might be. You know, I think there's one at the back. I recognise the shape of this building. Yes, there is. Yeah, and we can't stay here. There are too many zombies. Let's go. We're running out of time here. And if we find a bad building to stay in at night, we're basically dead, really, to be honest. If you run off that direction... What the hell is this? A reservoir? I think Vanguard... Yeah, Vanguard's here. Is there a ladder there? There is. Yeah, that's not safe. Dog. Dog. Damn it. I am running very short on time here. And I, there's a dog over there. I don't have time to mess with the dogs. Is this safe? I need to run around the building, make sure there's no ladders. And I'm nearly out of stamina. So just take it easy. Take it easy. There was a dog over here somewhere, I think. Ladders? Doesn't look like it, so I think this is safe. But we will find out at night. Dog. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Enjoy the dog. I hope you enjoy the dog. Don't mind me. I don't think you can speak right now. That was lucky. Is there another another staircase up here? A ladder? Hey, buddy. Do you want to come up here? It's nice and safe up here. It's your Mickey. <laughs> Is he going to be sneaky enough to make a ladder up here to bring the zombies up? We could try that building, although I think there's a ladder going into that building. And that building's not safe. Well, for now... Let's mark this building as safe. No, not quick save. I still hear him down there. Is he just running around? Cop, hello. Yep. Got to remember, spider zombies can get up here. That's that's one thing. And wherever Vanguard is, he's going to be looking for a place to stay right now. That building looks like it's safe as well. Maybe. It's flat. Got, no, no, that, that looks like a shop. Maybe. Maybe that's safe. There'll be a place to run to. In case they get up here, which frankly is kind of... With Vanguard just having been here, it's looking likely. Oh, dog, hello. Attacking that stop sign. Stop, dog. I don't hear any spider zombies, so I think we're good. What? Is Vanguard doing that? Did he leave landmines around here? If he's down there, he's taking a lot of risks. It's nearly night time. It is night time. Is there an army base nearby? Or is he just throwing landmines everywhere? Would you really have the resources for them already on day one? I mean, unless there's an army base around here. But that sounded really close. Vanguard buddy, is that you? Where is <laughs> I heard a lot of landmines. Oh no, it's not me. <laughs> not this time. I, I was thinking that. It'd be, it'd be very, very good of you to make landmines this early on. Don't give me any ideas, Mickey. You know I can. <laughs> but oh man, I... I mean, I heard like four or five landmines. Where the hell did they come from? They sounded close. I have nothing to say about that issue. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I thought someone was here. Okay, so are you good to go to end the episode? I don't think he's ready. I think he might still be running for his life. That kind of this wasp doesn't kill me. He has me. Oh, okay, so you're on a rooftop and just hiding from a uh, wasp. Actually, I'm fighting the wasp. I want to see if I can kill it. <laughs> Your bow must be like level uh, level five or something. I wouldn't imagine it's too high. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> That's secret information, Mickey. Oh, I see how it's going already. So let me make myself a little. Three arrows and the wasp is still alive. Okay. Come to Papa, wasp. Come to Papa. I have arrows for you. And then we'll sit tight here. I think. Are you good to end the episode? After I kill this. God, this is actually really terrifying. But I should really good make good use of my time. So let's make a club, market's favourite, and start the mass crafting. Get rid of that. Oh. Scrap that and that. Yeah, I killed the wasp, Mickey. How about that? Using a level one bow. Oh, nice, man. Very, very nice. I am very surprised. Wasps are, are the bane of my existence. Well, no, dogs and ferals and just running hordes in general. So no, are you good to... Yeah, and yeah. everything else. Are you good to end the episode? Sure I am. Okay then guys, so we're still alive, day one, and yeah, we'll, we'll see you back here for day two and see how it goes. Uh, if anything happens, we'll let you know, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let anybody else know if you enjoy it as well, and we'll see you guys back here next time. Bye-bye everyone. Bye-bye guys.
So, so have you found it so far? It's, it's really weird, man. It's really weird. Usually I'm planning for the long term. But it's really weird. Weird. This is hard as hell. God damn it. I was the whole day running from dots, pops. I have to put ladders in a building, climb it, open the roof, go to the other side and pray that nothing...